Hey everyone, we are back again here with another video for Super Clean and Purple Power. So let's get to work because it's Pinchao's Garage. Now, first things first, we're going to do this. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because this is a different type of way of cleaning wheels. Um, I typically don't use the greaser or a wheel cleaner. I usually just use soap and water. Um, as per the instructions from Super Clean and Purple Power, these are not meant to be used on wheels. But I'm going to use them on wheels anyways. Um, because I'm just going to put it on and wash it off extremely quick. Uh, and the reason why we're doing this because I want to see how this stuff works on brake dust and dirt. Uh, it worked amazing on just grime and grease and older caked on like stuff on a control arm or an oil pan. So I'm very, very curious what the results are going to be uh, on wheels. Now, please bear with me that again, it's not recommended to be used on wheels, but I'm gonna do this, so please don't try this at home. I just wanna show you guys the comparison of the strength of both products. So, let's get to work. So the way that we did last time, we're gonna do it again today, and it's straightforward. We're gonna soak the wheel on top, we're gonna soak the wheel on the inside, and we're gonna wait 30 seconds, and then power wash it immediately. Now the goal here is not to let the, the degreaser dry because this stuff likes to eat through stuff and we don't want it to dry and start any type of corrosion or damaging of the paint or the powder coat. We're going to soak it on the tire as well. We want to get the inside as well as the wheel, uh, of the pretty much the barrel of the wheel. And we're gonna wait 30 seconds <coughs> and hose these hose off the wheel. Pretty straightforward. Nothing crazy. All right. Purple power, super clean. All right, 30 seconds are up. We're gonna hose this guy down. Remember to turn your volume down, guys. get a close-up view here we're gonna look at the we're gonna look at this uh, the super clean first um, double check here yep so we're gonna look at the super clean first here we go so first off right off the bat all the actual surface contaminants uh, that are directly on top nothing on the sides just the stuff that was on top plus the tire, everything came right off immediately without any effort of scrubbing. Remember, I did no scrubbing whatsoever on the wheel, just soaked it with the degreaser. If we look on the inside of the wheel, you can see everywhere where the actual degreaser touched, pretty much every bar except for what's underneath, the brake um, dust and dirt came right off. 
obviously a little bit of uh, work with with your hands it probably come off immediately but this just to show you that not much effort is needed for cleaning um, wheels with a power washer now remember it didn't dissolve all of it uh, you can still see some in here there's some grime in there I mean this is the areas where the brake cleaner or I mean the the degreaser probably didn't get a lot of touching or surface touch so it didn't do that great of a job cleaning now we're over here to the purple power very very similar results um, however some of the more caked on stuff it did stay on for example right here a lot of the stuff inside the actual uh, hubcap or the cover here didn't come off as in comparison to the other side where a lot of it came off um, the inside grime so the stuff that's on the inside uh, walls uh, very similar a lot of it still be left behind again that's due to the fact that the uh, degreaser did not touch the uh, surface as much so um, I believe both products are almost identical in this scenario let's look at the back uh, oh there we go here's a little bit better story right here um, so the purple power did not do that well in removing the, the brake dust. Here's a good, oh man, that's a good example right here. So here we go. If you guys can see, super clean purple power. There's still way more brake dust left behind here than there is on this side. And I gave both of them pretty much the identical uh, amount of cleaning. Actually, I think I did more work on this side than I did on this side. So... As you can see, the more caked on stuff, the Purple Power didn't do as well. So, in this scenario, Super Clean wins again. And again, for a product that's very, very similarly, uh, has the same cost or price point, less work, more clean. I mean, that's kind of a win-win for me, man. So, we got one more uh, test to do, so you guys can see that, so stay tuned. Alright, so now we're at the next test here. Now this is the back of the hubcap for that same exact wheel. So what we're going to do, purple power on the left, I mean I'm sorry, purple power on the right, super clean on the left. We're going to soak these, you can see this is really, really caked on brake dust on the back of these hubcaps. Um, just give you guys an example right here, nice up and close. That is a lot of brake dust. So. This will be a really, really good comparison uh, because they're both soaked in this brake dust. I want to see how well they clean it off. So let's get going. Alright, 30 seconds and we'll be right back. All right guys, we are back. And now, we're gonna power wash these. Remember, purple power on the right, super clean on the left. Well, there's your answer right there. Woo -hoo. All right, purple power. Let's go to this guy immediately. As you can see, Still covered in brake dust all around it here. I mean, it took a lot of it off, don't get me wrong, it did. But it left a lot behind. This guy, super clean. Wow. I Again, I don't scrub, I need no scrubbing whatsoever. And it's, it's insane on how clean it left it just by just spraying it on. I, again, super clean. My hat's off to you because <laughs> that's so much little work for cleaning. I'm gonna go soak this one up. <laughs> Sorry, Purple Power. <laughs> I'm gonna 
do this one really quick. Man, I would have known this stuff is that good. I mean, I'm I'm leaning way more towards super clean, more so now than ever. Um, now it says to spray, 30 seconds, and then rinse and then rinse it off. So let's see if it's right. So I just sprayed it on the right with super clean. Purple power is kind of out of the picture now. I'm not even touching it. <laughs> And right before your eyes, we're going to brush it off, hopefully. All right, here we go. Yeah, we just did it. Holy smoky cannoli. It took the rest of it off. It left some behind, but it took most of it off again. Without doing any scrubbing, you guys saw that live. I didn't even edit that. <laughs> and I did no scrubbing. I mean, there's some things right here that you just, you just put your finger on it, it comes right off, but. Again, no scrubbing whatsoever. It took the rest of it off. This is impressive, guys. I am, I'm actually very intrigued with their guys with this product. So, I'm definitely a fan now, a big old fanboy of Super Clean. Highly recommend it. This works really, really good on a, uh, on um, break, uh, break dust, very, very well. That's it. I'm gonna give it a little shimmy here with my bare hands. It's probably not recommended, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'll rinse my hands off right now. All done. Well, that's it again uh, for this one. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, yet again, very, very impressed with Superpowers. Actually, I mean, super clean ability to clean. It's very good. And I haven't tried any of their actual uh, specific cleaners for wheels. This is just their overall, like their general degreasing product. So, highly recommended. I don't recommend it though to use it on wheels. I just did it today as for a comparison test. That is it. It even say, it states it on the bottle, do not use on wheels, it's not meant for it. So just remember that, um, just a little word of advice, all right? Peace out, everyone, and have a wonderful day.